ready? Ready. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back. Back with a food review. It's been a while since we've done one. Uh, we've been trying to eat healthier, so it's been kind of, you know, it's been hard to kind of do any of the stuff that's really like, yeah. just, I would consider junk food. Uh, but it could be, sometimes it's not, not too bad. But, anyways, we're going to check these out right there. The one I'm, we got two of them here. This one Kit Kat Duos Mocha Chocolate. That one seems normal. So that's, that's what this one looks like, if you can see that. And then I'll show the and then, ones. and then this one we found is Kit Kat that tastes like key lime pie. Odd. So I so anywho, it is they're both of these are limited edition flavors. If you can see that, hopefully you can. Yeah. These were at the supermarket the other day and we saw them and we're like, oh yeah, I don't know if they've been I don't think they've been out, but I trust them I've seen them, so I can't eat these, he's going to instead. So yeah, I'll try to do this one is the yeah, this is the mocha one. See if it can be any good. Um, I'm only a fan of like the regular Kit Kat, so definitely, it's definitely, smell, yeah, definitely smell. You can smell it. You can't eat it, but you can smell it. Oh, it definitely smells. It smell, like, it's very, the chocolate's very strong. Yeah, it's still, well, it's well, it smells. You can like smell the mocha. Is anyway, it dark really chocolate? Strong. The bottom, I think the bottom is dark chocolate. The top is just because it chocolate. smells like chocolate. It's yeah, strong. It's like, it's like a mocha smell. It's weird. What do you think? Any good? It's all right. It's all right. Um, it's not super sweet for this Kit Kat, so it's not over the top for sweet, but sweet what do you, the chocolate. What do you taste more, the mocha or the chocolate? Yeah, the mocha's really overpowering. So it tastes a lot like that. I mean, 90% of it is, is, is the mocha. I mean, hold on while it's I could see, on. if you look on like there's more mocha on it right. than there is That's chocolate. What it looks like. So you can see that the bottom is dark chocolate. Top is mocha. Yeah, but if you look at it, there's more mocha than there is chocolate. It's the inside you really it's hard to tell if you can see it on the The camera. mocha there has to be at least two layers of mocha on it. Yeah. Because the chocolate there's only one layer. Yeah, I think well I think it's inside. And it oh, tastes like I see mocha like really like really strong. I'm not oh, a big fan of mocha. Yeah. And then here's this one. Like I know there's like you know, mocha coffee, mocha mocha co um ice Whoa. cream, something like that. Um, this one's strong too. So I'm gonna try the yeah, just take one. There you go. So this is gonna be the key lime one. Smell it. Smells you can, like you can see that. So it looks like it looks green, like key lime. That's yeah, strong. Smells like lime. So we're gonna try this one and see what it tastes like. It's just gonna taste like a, like a lime. What do you think? That's strong. It's, it smells just like a key lime. I taste, I smell more of the lime than, because I don't think key lime pie actually tastes like that. You know what it tastes like? What? It tastes like fruity pebbles. Really? Mm -hmm. But definitely more of the lime flavor, but it definitely tastes like fruity pebbles. Really? That's, that's interesting. Just, I, that's just my, what I think. Um, yeah, wow. The more, the aftertaste is definitely like the fruit fruity pebbles. Wow. Um, so what does it say? Serving here, we know that serving per pack. Let's see. 220 calories so per for serving. Kit Kat Key Lime Nutrition, uh, 220 calories, pretty high. 12 grams of fat, 40 milligrams of sodium, 27 grams of carbs, 2 grams of protein, 6% calcium, 2% potassium. So this so, is this about the same stuff. This one is 210 calories. This is what the Nutrition with the mocha is a, 10, cal 10 calories less, right? I guess. Yeah, 10 calories. So 220 calories versus 210 calories. But it's basically about the same thing. Like I said, the, the, the mocha one, if you like mocha, anything, and, you know, it's a good snack, I would say. Um, if you don't stay away, because it's really like the mocha taste is really strong in that one. But it's, the sweetness isn't overpowering. It's would very you, mild. If you, if you saw these flavors again, would you buy one of them again? Or? The key lime one, I, I would buy it again because it tastes like fruity pebbles because it tastes good. I'm not a big fan, of, like I said, I'm not a big fan of mocha, so I probably wouldn't buy that one again. Yeah. We're gonna, definitely a different taste. We're going to try and find, too, uh, the new Oreos that they're limited edition. Well, they taste like apple cider donuts, so hope we're going to try and find those. See, 
see if we could do a quick review for those as well. Yeah, we're trying to get some more into back into some of these previous food reviews. I was kind of hesitant because I don't want to eat too much junk because I'm trying to eat better. Yeah, um, I think it's been a while since I've really had anything bad. So, yeah, that's all right. So just a little bit isn't just too bad. Work but, it off. Yeah, right. And so I think that we're going to wrap up this video. As always, we appreciate you guys tuning in to check out our video. Also, check out some of our other videos on our channel. We appreciate you guys. Yes. Uh, so hit that like and subscribe. Until next time.